In this video, I want to talk about the move and copy commands. They're both here in modify, and they work really the same, so we're going to keep them together. <clears throat> so if I go to move, I can either pick on the icon here, or I can use the alias, which is M. So I'll do M. And now it asks me to select objects. So what do I want to move? So I'm going to pick that circle, hit enter. Now it asks me for a base point. So the base point is kind of where do I want to hold it when I'm moving it. Um, so let's say I wanted the center of the circle to go to that corner. I could pick that as my base point. And now it's asking me <clears throat> my second point. So I want to put it on that corner. You can see it, where I clicked my base, base point is where it held it to put it onto the second point. If I go to move again, I pick it. So now I want the top quadrant to go to the midpoint of that line. You can see it's really handy for moving things exactly where you want them to be. But let's say now I just want this whole thing to go three inches over to the right. So I'm going to do it a different way this time. I'm going to select the objects first and then do move. <clears throat> That's called noun verb selection. So we're picking the objects first, the noun, and then telling them what to do, the verb second. In most commands in Modify, we can do this way. Uh, there's a few that we can't, and I'll tell you which ones those are. So now I'm immediately to the base point, so I'll pick that. I can just point over use my polar and tell it 3, because that's what I wanted, and hit Enter. And now that moved it 3 inches over that way. I can do the same thing going up, left, add a polar tracking angle, so I can tell it to go 2 at that. Or I could give it a relative coordinate, so I could say at negative 4, comma, negative 1, and it'll take it over 4 and down 1. <clears throat> the displacement option kind of gives me that same feel, but if I do D for displacement, you can see it's automatically picking my first point as the origin, and now I can tell it where to go. So I usually don't use that, I just, if I know I'm going to be going to a certain distance, I'll just pick my base point somewhere where, close to me so that way I can kind of control it a little better. With the copy command, with the alias of CO, <coughs> it works the same way. I'll pick that as my object, enter. Now it asks me the base point, exactly the same. And you can see the copy mode is set to multiple. That means once I pick one and I place it for a second point, it wants to know another second point. So another second point, another one, another one. And then enter to get out of it. So that's move and copy.